The MGF pipe lifter has been designed specifically to allow an excavator to quickly and efficiently pick up and lay down a wide range of concrete pipes without the need for an operative to contact either the pipe or the pipe lifter. This allows operative exclusion zones to be more easily managed during lifting and lowering operations. Here are the different pipe lifter parts. Prior to delivery by MGF, customers are to ensure that the lifting plan is in place to safely carry out the unloading of the pipe lifter. It is important to fully read and understand the MGF pipe lifter user guide before use. MGF supply a range of bolted head plates to suit commonly available quick hitches. Prior to delivery, ensure that the correct head plate is ordered. The user guide offers advice on selection. The pipe lifter is supplied under Lola and therefore must only be used with a valid six monthly inspection certificate. The pipe lifter has been tested to a safe working load of 3.7 tonnes and designed for use with collared concrete pipes ranging from 300mm to 1200mm diameter and a maximum length of 2.6m. Customers are to ensure that a suitable lifting plan is in place prior to commencing work and that any plant being used is appropriate for the intended operation with attention to the weight of pipe being lifted and proposed reach based on depth of installation. The pipe lifter should be offloaded with the stillage from the rear of the wagon using a sufficiently rated four leg chain connected to the lifting lugs and placed on suitable even ground. The clamping plate has two available settings, an upper hole for clamping 300 to 450 mm diameter pipes and a lower hole for use with 525 to 1200 mm diameter pipes. When hiring the MGF pipe lifter, please confirm the diameter of concrete pipes being installed so that MGF can configure prior to sending out. Should the clamping plate need adjusting on site, this can be done when the pipe lifter is secured within the stabilising stillage. Two operatives are required to perform the task. Remove the securing bolt and collar and carefully take out the 40mm diameter pin. Reposition the clamp to the required hole position and slide the pin back into place. Slip over the collar and tighten the M10 bolt. MGF pipe lifters are delivered in a stabilising stillage which remain on site for safe storage. This allows the excavator to connect and release the quick hitch safely without the need for operatives in the working area. Ensure that the pipe lifter is in the closed position before use and is securely orientated to enable attachment to the excavator. If there is a gap between the link arm and stop, this can be closed by tightening the two M20 spring nuts. Attach the pipe lifter onto the quick hitch of the excavator and visually inspect that the connection is secure. Ensure when fitted that the clamping mechanism points away from the excavator. Carefully lift the pipe lifter out of the stillage and insert the full length of the lifting arm into the collared end of the concrete pipe. Maneuver until the face of the pipe sits flush against the end stop. For larger diameter pipes, it may be required to tilt the pipe lifter approximately 20 degrees when inserting the lifting arm into the pipe. This will increase the jaw gap between the clamping plate and the lifting arm, enough to slip over the concrete collar without manual intervention. Refer to CPSA Health and Safety Guides for unloading of concrete pipes. Slowly raise the pipe, allowing the clamping assembly to close on the barrel and collar, taking the full load of the pipe. With the load secure and with the pipe just above the ground, confirm that the load is stable by tilting the pipe plus and minus 15 degrees from the horizontal. 
pipe may now be lifted and transferred to a suitable storage location or placed into the prepared trench and jointed following the application of an approved joint lubricant to the pipe spigot. Care should be taken to avoid lubricant coming into contact with the pipe or equipment as this can cause the pipe to slip. Transport of the pipe should always be along an agreed route with suitable exclusion zones, with the pipe as near to the ground as is practicable and never to be lifted over operatives. Travel safely and slowly, ensuring that the excavator driver has a clear line of sight and is able to spot any hazards. It is important that all personnel must be completely clear of the pipe and pipe lifter when in use. Upon reaching the trench and with the excavator stabilised, carefully begin to lower the pipe into the required position. Depending on the weight of the pipe, depth of installation and lifting capacity of site plant, the pipe may be tilted up to 30 degrees from horizontal and manoeuvred between struts on the trench support system. During operation, ensure that neither the pipe lifter nor the pipe snags on other equipment or the ground as this could lead to a dangerous release of the pipe. For all operations, ensure that the pipe is being laid onto suitable ground or bedding and that the pipe is chocked to prevent unexpected movement. The pipe lifter can also be used to push the pipe into position, ensuring formation of the correct joint gap. Care must be taken when jointing to ensure that an even pressure is applied to the gasket. No personnel should be in the working area or come into contact with the pipe lifter, excavator or any pipe in transit and installation. If personnel are required inside the trench, then the operative must stand well behind the collar of the previously installed pipe. All installation works should be carried out in accordance with CPSA guidelines. When the pipe is in its final position and the ground has taken the full weight of the pipe, the pipe lifter should be slowly lowered to release the clamping plate. When there is sufficient clearance, carefully retract the lifting arm from the pipe until the pipe lifter is clear. Repeat this process as necessary on completion, carefully lower the pipe lifter back into the support stillage. Release the quick hitch and slowly detach, ensuring that the pipe lifter remains stable and cannot topple over.